What is y'all doing? What are y'all doing? What is y'all doing? Guess. Take a guess what I'm doing. Hey, he look like a baby to me. Why you, why you? Guess what I'm doing. I don't know what you That's doing. Exactly. I just you see you snatch him up off the... So what's going on then? You're stealing stuff. If he breaks into your house, you steal something. Nah, man. What are you saying? A bag of chips? So y'all treat me like a whole cold blooded fucking killer? Keep, keep, keep walking, dude. You don't even know what you're keep talking about. Keep walking. I do that. I, I know what I just came up and see. I know what the fuck I just came up and see. Okay, what did you see? I see y'all snatching him off the bike like you're a fucking grown ass man. It wasn't him. And he said it wasn't him. What the fuck is y'all doing? That's crazy. How old is he? 10 years old? What the fuck is y'all talking about, that's man? Against, that's against the law. What the fuck is y'all doing? Sword, what is y'all doing? Take the fucking you chips. Gotta, if you stole some chips, I'll pay for them. I'll pay for them. You don't even know where he lives. Y'all just throwing him in the fucking car. That's what they do. They come here. What the fuck is y'all doing? doing? Bro? Leave him alone. No camera. That's all we can do. He a kid. What is y'all doing? All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechah Kurash. The bonds to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Citation to all that I can put this word with true charity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the heavenly father whom the word and he calls God and Jehovah. Baha is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name of the word and he calls Jesus and Rekha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. As always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigners scattered amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage through their father's line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites, no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. Hey, and as always, I'm a brother, your dyer from the Great Millstone Branch, from the Great Millstone Branch out here in Chicago, and I'm back with another lesson. It's going to be entitled, Behold, Yet This Day in Our Captivity. And as you see... From the video we watched in the beginning, hey, you had this uh, younger Jake, uh, what seems to be uh, as if he's getting arrested, you know, uh, supposedly just going based off what the video say, supposedly stole a bag of chips. So you had Esau eat them, self-proclaimed white man, the devil the Bible speaks of. You had him come to his neighborhood, which you can see is a total desolation in itself. But arrest him and a boy is, it can't be nothing but seven or ten years old. But here they got here they got him handcuffed, you know, got him handcuffed. He's screaming, he's crying, you know, and, and hey, you got to ask yourself, why does these things happen to our people, man? Hey, hey where do you find the answer to this? Hey, it's written within the Holy Scriptures. But hey, we're going to get into it. We ain't going to get too much caught up in the in the video. But nevertheless, this is Baruch 3 and, 20, 3 and 8. It says, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from Yahweh our power. And hey, that's what happened. Hey, our people, we, we are the people of God. And, and according to Deuteronomy 28th chapter, if we listened to the Lord, he would have bestowed blessings upon us. But since but if we didn't, which we didn't, uh, he put curses on us, various curses. And this is the these are the curses playing out in today's time. You see? You got this young Jake hey, being treated as if he's a grown man, you know, hey, getting arrested over 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 a dollar bag of chips, man. Now, it is a it, hey, that's just a hey, that's not righteous judgment, man. But verse nine, it says hear Israel, the commandments of life and give ear unto and give ear to understand wisdom. How happen if it Israel that thou art in thy enemy's land? And thou art waxing old in a strange country that are defiled with the dead. And, hey, we are in, we are not in our homeland. We're in a land uh, hey, that's not ours, that our oppressors run. Hey, it said enemies land, man. These people that rule over us, they hate us, man. That's why they treat us like this. It says, verse 11, thou, it's just like it says that thou art counted with them that go down to the grave. So, wait, hey, 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 what, what, why is it like this, man? You have to read the scriptures. Isaiah 34 and 16, it says, seek you out the book of the Lord and read. But this is Deuteronomy chapter 28, and we're going to start at 64 and bounce around. It says, and Yahweh shall, shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which thou neither, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And one of the curses that was going to fall upon the Israelites, you, hey, you were going to be scattered. And when you are scattered, you're going to serve other gods that you didn't uh, serve before or or gods that not your true power. You know, it says uh, verse 65, 
And among these nations thou shalt find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But Yahweh shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. So amongst these nations, uh, the places where you're going to be scattered, you're not going to have no peace of mind. You know, you're not going to have no safety. Your life is a, a people are just going to be able to take your life away from you. And you're not going to be regarded. And who do we see that happen to uh, primarily a, a, a Judah? A, the southern kingdom, as well as all the other tribes, but a, a more so with the so-called Negroes. It says, verse 66, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night and shall have none assurance of thy life. And a, this, these curses are identifiers of who the Israelites are. Verse 67, in the morning thou shalt say with the most high it were even, and at even thou shalt say with the most high it was morning. For the fear of thine heart, wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. Verse 68, it says, And Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And hey, this Egypt is going into bondage, captivity, slavery. Um, it says the word Egypt is Matazarim, which is double straits. And hey, that's where we are in. You see? Hey, Egypt is also uh, syn synonymous with house of bondage. So the Lord shall bring thee into uh Egypt or captivity again with ships. And they, the first time our people went into Egypt, they walked. When they left Egypt, physical Egypt, they, they walked. So hey, what is this talking about now? It's talking about America. It says, with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. You won't see your homeland anymore. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies, not your friends, for bondmen, slave men, and bondwomen, slave women, and no man shall buy you. And that buy goes into redeem or save. So the Lord told his people, since you don't want to listen to me, I'm going to put you on ships and send you into captivity. And who did that befall upon? Hey, go look throughout history, man. It, it falls upon you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You got put on sh on ships and transported throughout all the world. And, 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 and to this day are serving captivity in these lands where you've been scattered to. And what's going to be taking place in these lands? Uh, Deuteronomy 28, jumping up to verse 29, and thou shalt grope at noon's day as the blind grope of in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. You won't be successful. You know, you're going to be at the bottom of the barrel and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore and no man shall save thee. And that's our people, man, oppressed and spoiled. And our people, you know, they, they, they cry out against these things, but they ultimately don't uh, do it righteously, you know. And, and that's and that's by coming back to their power. But this is uh, I'm gonna jump down to verse 36. It says, Yahweh shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And thou shalt serve other gods, wood and stone. And that's what happened. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Yay. Hey, when you read this in the NLT, it says a horror, a proverb and a byword. Among all nations, whether Yahweh shall lead thee. And hey, that by word goes into a sharp word or offensive words. Niggas, criminals, thieves. Hey, we are the sons of the living power. We are gods, as the scriptures say. But here you're going to be regarded as nothing. As, as worthless. As thugs, criminals, gangsters. You know, your women going to be bad bitches, whores. They're going to embrace those titles as well. It says, among all the nations where the Yahweh shall scatter thee. And I'm going to do some more jumping around, but I'm going to go to verse 45. It says, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou beest destroyed. Because thou hearkest hurkest not unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. So these curses are going to follow you continually throughout all your generations. It says, because thou hearkest her not unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded, which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So these curses are going to be identified as unto who the Israelites are in the latter days. It says, verse 47, because thou servest not Yahweh thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart, heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in one of all things. Since you didn't want to listen to the Lord and follow and serve the Lord, 
You're going to go and serve heathens. You're going to go and serve Esau, even the self-proclaimed white man. You're going to go and serve Elam. You're going to go serve Ishmael, Ham. It says, uh, chiefly Esau it says, therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in one of all things. You're going to have to go to your oppressor for one of all things. That's, that's why you wonder why you have to go to a food uh, market to get food, to get things that grow out of the earth. You don't own any land, you know. You got to go to uh, the mall to get clothes or Walmart to get clothes or basic things. You know, in the ancient world, it wasn't like this, man. But hey, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. It says, um, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And hey, when you go on Google and type in yoke of iron, you're going to see a bunch of Negroes with, with, with chains on them, man. Further prove that we are the children of the most high. It says, Yahweh shall bring thee a nation against like Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from afar from the end of the earth, as swift as an eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. And hey, Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, that ancient uh, hatred is still within him. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 1. It says, Come down, sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. And then who is, who is uh, that virgin daughter of Babylon associated with? This is Psalms 137 and 7. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even unto the foundation thereof. This is uh, verse eight. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that reward of thee as thou hast served us. So hey, that oh, hey, O daughter of Babylon is uh, synonymous with Edom. So the Lord in Isaiah 47, he's prophesying against Edom. Uh, verse nine in his Psalms 137. Happy shall he be that take of and dash of thy little ones against the stones. And hey, it's going to be judgment, you know. The Lord said he sat back and, and kept silence. You thought that he was on your side, that he was with you. But no, it's going to be retribution for the things that you've done unto the apple of his eye. You see, this is a, in the eighth. That's our comfort. You know, Revelation 13 and 10. Here's the pace. Here's the faith and the patience of the saints that we're going to get avenged for the wickedness that has been done unto us. You see. This is Isaiah 47, verse 2. Take the millstones and grind mill, uncover the locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. <laughs> thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. And a, a Yahweh is going to send his son, Yahweh Shai, and he's going to deliver us. He's going to come back in his God form. And he a, he's going to meet you <laughs> a, in spirit, you know. It says, uh, verse three, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Verse four, as for our redeemer, Yahweh of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Verse five, sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the ladies of kingdom. You know, yeah, you're not going to be untouched. You see, verse six, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. So the Lord was upset with us. So he cast us off and gave us into the hands of you Edomites, right? It says, thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient. Has thou verily heavily, has thou very heavily laid thy yoke? So hey, the Lord gave us into your hand and you all, and you destroyed us. You show no mercy. In the book of James, the scriptures tell you that the Lord, it's like it's, it tells you that uh, the Lord will show no mercy. No mercy will be showed to those that, that show no mercy. Roughly paraphrasing. Roughly paraphrasing. You see? So it's hell of a get back coming for you Edomites, man. As well as you other nations. Because you're not going to be alone. You know? This Baruch 4 and 24. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity. Hey, they see us being oppressed. The Lord set up the internet. Hey, what's done unto our people. Where our people reside at. The ghettos they live in. Hey, every The whole world sees that. It's an astonishment. It's a horror. You see? It says, like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see surely your salvation. 
from our power, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. They're also going to see us change. You know, they're going to see us. Uh, they're going to see us go back to our first estate, man. They're going to see the Lord change us. They're going to see the Lord destroy America for us. Hey, destroy these kingdoms for us. Hey, they're going to see the chariots come back and save us as birds flying. That's the scriptures say. Verse 25, my children suffer patiently the wrath as a that has come upon you from the most high. For thy enemy have persecuted thee, but surely thou shalt, thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his necks. And so that's our comfort, man. Yeah, we in the lowest state right now. Yeah, we're being oppressed. Yeah, the, 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 the devil is ruling over us. He's destroying us. But hey, surely we're going to see his destruction and we're going to tread upon his neck. We're going to have power over him. The plowman is going to overtake the reaper. As it says in the book of Amos, verse 26, my delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught off the enemies. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Most High, for you shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. So cry unto your power. Hey, hey, the Lord is going to hear those cries and come and save you. Verse 28, for as it was in your mind to go astray from the Most High, so be in return, seek him ten times more. Verse 29, for he that have brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy where your salvation. So the same one that put these curses upon you, he's also going to take them off and hey, hey, turn our sorrow into joy. It says, verse 30, take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall, all you other nations. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve, America. And other places our people have been scattered to. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as it, so like it says, for as she rejoices thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting long to endure and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. And that's the judgment that's coming to Babylon, the great which today is America. You see? So yeah, yeah, this, this is why these things are happening to our people. And it's only going to continue to be like this. You know, nothing, it's like, let me, let me rephrase that. It's going to be like this until the Lord comes back and save us. You see? Nothing, nothing is going to change uh, through legislation or, or the judicial branches or you voting or you going out and protest. Nothing is going to happen from that. True change is going to come and it's going to come from repentance and turning back to your to your power. You see? So, hey, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. Call Halayim La. Yahweh Bahasham. Yahweh Shai Bahasham. Harukak Wadash. The bonds to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Salutations to all the I can put his word with true charity. Shalom, Barakatham, Wa Babu Ball.